In our last video, we learned about the JSON placeholder API. In this video, we will fetch data from this API within a React Native component and display it in our UI. Let's start by clearing out the existing JSX and styles in app.js. Starting from scratch, we will first import safe area view and add it into our JSX. Add the style prop and assign styles.container. In the style section, for the container key, we will leave flex to one to occupy the entire available space. Change the background color to F5F5F5. Remove align items justify content and instead add a top padding for Android equal to status bar dot current height. Don't forget to import status bar from React Native. Next, nest a view component within the safe area view. Import it from React Native. Assign the style prop and set it equal to styles.list container. This style will have flex set to 1 and horizontal padding. And I just realized we also need to import style sheet. If we save the file and preview our UI, we should see a slightly gray colored screen. Now let's fetch data from our API endpoint. Within the app component, define an async function named fetch data. Here we will make a fetch request to JSON placeholder post endpoint. So const response is equal to await fetch and we paste the URL https json placeholder dot code.com slash posts and we limit the number to only 10 posts. In the next line, we convert the response to JSON. Const data is equal to await response dot JSON. Once we obtain the JSON array of posts, we will store it in a state variable to bind the data to our UI. So at the top, import use state from React and create a state variable named post list. The initial value is an empty array. Within our fetch data function, invoke set post list, passing in the data. One addition that will set us up for an upcoming video is specifying the limit as a parameter for the fetch function. So limit and the default value is equal to 10. Draw the curly braces and we bind the parameter value. Now we want our fetch data function to be called when the component mounts. To achieve this, import use effect from React and call it with a callback function and an empty dependency array. Within the callback, invoke fetch data. With our post list now in hand, let's render it in the UI using the flat list component. So import flat list from React Native and use it within the view component. Provide the data and render item props. So data is equal to post list and render item is a function that returns JSX for each post item. We can destructure item and return a view component with nested text components. We're going to render item.title, so each post has a title, and item.body. Both these properties exist on each post that has been retrieved. Make sure to import text component from React Native. We'll also style each component with card, idle text, and body text. In the style section, let's define the styles. Card 
it's going to have a background color of white, some padding, a border radius, and border width. For title text, we're going to set font size of 30. And for body text, we're going to set a font size of 24 and a slightly muted color of 666666. If we now save the file, we should see our post list rendered, displaying each post title and body. To enhance the UI, let's add separators, a header, and a footer. Since these are props we have covered in a previous section, I'll paste the code directly. So we have item separator component, which simply has a height of 16 pixels, a list empty component, which renders no posts found if the post list array is empty, list header component that says post list, and list footer component that says end of list. We also have header text and footer text newly added. So let me copy paste the styles for those as well. If we take a look at the UI, we can see it is much better. The header at the top, post list, the 10 different posts, and end of list at the bottom. All right, now that we have learned how to make a GET request and bind the response to the UI, in the next video, let's learn how to add a loading state while data is fetched in the background. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.